Welcome to the Dominion Future Commander Training Simulation Module. Here you will learn to use our interface and issue orders to your forces. Begin by left clicking on a unit to select it. Armed and ready. Information about the selected unit is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Additionally, the commands for this unit are displayed in the bottom right. It is time to issue a command. Right-click the beacon to order the Marine to move to it. Gangway, coming through. Well done, recruit. Next, you will learn the attack move order. This is another way to instruct the Marine to move, but he will automatically attack any enemies along the way. Give the attack move order now. Press the attack key to enter the- Roger that. That's it, Commander. I have noted your ability to follow basic instructions. The minimap will reveal an overview of the battlefield. It is located in the bottom left section of the screen. You may adjust your view of the battlefield anytime by moving your mouse to the edges of the screen. Try adjusting your camera so that- Hostile units detected. I will send you additional reinforcements. You can also left-click the minimap to change your view of the battlefield. Left-click the highlighted area on the map now to view your reinforcements. Very good, Commander. Your aptitude scores have exceeded the current average. You will need to select all of your Marines before engaging the hostile units. Left-click and hold to drag a box around your units. This will result in their selection. Who wants some? The Dominion prizes cooperation. You may order a group of units in the same manner you would order an individual. Issue an attack move command to your Marines by pressing the attack key, then let- Orders received. Your completion of this exercise has placed you in the 90th percentile of all Dominion recruits. Receiving transmission. Command simulation terminated. Listen up. We've got a situation that needs a commander. And you're the best recruit we've seen for months. What do you say? Ready for some field experience? Welcome to Taurus IV. Not my favorite planet in the sector. Some of our science officers went out looking for Protoss artifacts last week. And those eggheads haven't returned yet. It can get ugly out there. I need you to establish a base and send out a search party. Your command center's landing now. You're gonna need some SCVs to handle your mining and construction. We're low on stored minerals, so let's get the SCVs gathering them. What's going on? Yep. Look at them go. They'll keep mining until you tell them to stop. Must think they're getting paid overtime. <laughs> Check the top right corner of your screen to see how many minerals you've stocked by. We're gonna need more SCVs to get all the minerals we need. You can train them up at the command center. You're getting the hang of this. SCVs take time to get ready, but you can queue up some more while we wait. We'll need 12 SCVs to mine efficiently here. I'll even set up an objective for you at the top left of your screen so you can track your progress. Don't bother thanking me. SCV ready. SCV ready. Nothing's free out here. Everyone on this base costs us a certain amount of supplies. Up in the top right corner of your screen, you'll see the current supply amount and its limits. Reach the limit, 
and we can't train anyone else. Good news is that SCVs can set up supply depots to increase our limit. Go on and order an SCV to build a supply depot. In the rear with the gear. All right. He'll be busy until the depot's finished. But after that, you can assign him a new task. Looks like that SCV's all done, but we don't have break times here. Let's get him back to mining. That's right. Good. Those are all the SCV's we need. Next thing we're gonna need is a barracks to train our troops for combat. Select an SCV and order him to start building one. That's a good-looking barracks, if I say so myself. Let's start training some Marines. We'll need five of them before we push out. Your objective has been updated so you can keep track. You'll be promoted in no time if you keep this up. Let's get those Marines on the move. Time to find those missing scientists. Select your Marines and order them to head to the bridge. By the numbers, boys. Hold on, Commander. I'm receiving some intel from our scanner sweep. It's detecting Zerg biosignatures in this area. We're gonna have to be real careful with this one. Use your attack move command while exploring. Then your marines will be on their guard if they come across enemies. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. Here's our scientists. What's left of them? I'd better let HQ know about this. Hold here and wait for further orders. Ah, a new minion. I am your broodmother, and you will serve me to the death. First, you will make the Terrans for their interference on this planet. I will join you soon with reinforcements. Prepare this hive cluster for my arrival. The hatchery is the heart of our hive cluster. It automatically spawns new lava over time. We can then morph these lava into more useful forms. You are low on supply, and your swarm cannot grow. Morph a lava into an overlord to increase your supply. Yes, 
As your swarm grows in number, you will need to continue to morph overlords to increase your supply. Your hatchery has birthed more lava. Morph them into drones and we shall grow your hive cluster. You now have two lavas. Good. Drones harvest resources and mutate into structures according to our needs. If you are to conquer this planet, you will require an army. But before you can create one, you will need a spawning pool. Order a drone to mutate into one now. Mutating a drone into a structure is permanent. Remember to morph more drones to account for this loss. That spawning pool looks noxious and fetid. Good. Now morph your lava into zerglings. Each lava will become two zerglings. Their strength comes from their numbers. Now I shall instruct you how to morph more advanced minions. But to do so, you will require Vespine gas. Ah, there is a Vespine geyser nearby. Excellent. First, you must order a drone to morph into an extractor above the geyser. <laughs> Once that is finished, other drones will be able to harvest gas from it. <laughs> You will require three drones to harvest Vespin. Yes! The amount of gas you have gathered is shown in the top right corner. You are ready to strengthen your brood. A Roach Warren will allow you to morph stronger creatures. More overlords. <laughs> I see your mind is also even... <laughs> Click the basic mutation button. Click the mutate into Roach Warren button. Left click on the ground to place the Warren. <laughs> Roach Warren is ready. You may begin morphing roaches. Roaches are bred to absorb damage. Their fortitude will help you conquer this world. to command my brood. Do not disappoint me. Let the Terrans tremble before us. Urgh! Unleash Elmarine! 
Division on Taurus 4. We are under attack by the Zerg. Do you read me? Immediate evac requested. We need The Zerg have claimed this world and all on it. Heed me, warriors. We have intercepted a Terran distress signal from Taurus 4. The Zerg have invaded the planet. We shall not let this stand. We must eradicate the enemy at once. The Terran transmission originated at these coordinates. It appears their warriors have already been infested by the Zerg. We must give them peace in death. Our forces are protected by their shields. They will regenerate quickly unless they take further damage. We have to go further. I must know how far the Zerg infestation is spread. Say. Very wise. We move unseen. It is as I feared. This world is consumed. I shall need the Golden Armada's aid to cleanse it. We will soon be outnumbered by the Zerg. We must fall back to safety. Our stalkers should be able to cross the debris by using the Blink ability. These structures were abandoned long ago, but we can reactivate them and hold here until the Armada arrives. Our gateways need a pylon to power them. Order a probe to warp in a pylon nearby. Pylons will power any nearby structures and provide supply for our forces. Our probes are highly efficient. We can reassign them to other tasks after they have initiated the warp process. The gateways are now active. Let us use them to warp in zealots. Excellent. We now have enough zealots. But we cannot withstand the fight ahead without additional stalkers. We will require a cybernetics core in order to warp them in. Well done. 
Initiate warp sequences for the stalkers at our gateways. stalkers to proceed, but we must still be cautious, brothers. The Zerg approach our nexus point. Warriors, ready your blades! The enemy is breaking through! We must hold! Bravery has brought us victory, my warriors. The Golden Armada has arrived. Hot guide. We are the swarm. Numberless. Merciless. Initiating mass recall. Weaklings. You retreat in the face of battle. No, we strike as one. <laughs> <laughs> 